Hi friends, it's Sarah from rufflesandrainboots.com and today we're making this free gnome pattern a Christmas cup gnome. He can be used as a treat jar as well if you'd like to make it stick around. And as always, please like this video so that I know you're here crafting. So this free little gnome pattern has become a massive hit all over social media and I love it for us because it's so easy and it's free. So we're going to head to the Dollar Tree and we're going to grab some cups. These are nine ounce cups. They're everywhere. They're just paper and this can be altered to fit any other cup. So I'm going to cut out the hat and the body pattern from felt just whatever colors. I have your faux fur for a beard. You can also use yarn. I have some accents here, including a nose and a snowflake. I'm going to use an X X-Acto knife for the fur, uh, some scissors, and a hot glue gun. So the very first step for this is super, super simple. All you have to do is decide whether you want to tuck it under or cut it off at the brim. That's the hardest decision you'll make. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck it under because I like that it covers the little paper edge. Now one thing I'll say after making quite a few of these is go ahead and use your glue gun to spread out that hot glue. So you can see this uh, felt is a little bit thinner. I got this off of a bolt like eight years ago and I'm still working on the same single yard of green felt. Anyway, this is a thinner felt, so we want to make sure that our glue does not show through, so I'm just using the tip of my glue gun to sort of spread it out. Easy peasy, right? I'm just lining it up with the very top. Now, you have two options here as well. When you get to the end, you can either cut off the excess or you can just glue it down. Um, I'm lazy. You can... I'm, you can guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue it down because I don't want to have to cut anything. Come on. But I will have to get my scissors out either way because I opted to tuck this under. And I'll tell you the easiest way to do that is just to cut little slits across the entire bottom all the way up to but not into the bottom of the cup. Easy peasy. All the way around. Now, I was asked for a real-time craft, and I will honor that for most of this. I have taken out some glue drying and will tell you that um, these take less than 10 minutes to make. I've made about eight of them so far and all different holidays because they're so quick and so easy. I was also told by uh, one of my readers that her entire band used it as a Christmas uh, fundraiser. They've started in August for their band fundraiser and I thought that was the best idea ever so she said they're going to be making some and using it for that which I thought you know that was cool thought I'd share that here so once you have them all glued down you can actually just go ahead and move over to the fur which will be a two inch by two inch square now if you've never cut faux fur before don't worry about it it's going to come to you like this where it's got short little edges and that's because they use scissors if you don't like those, just hack it off about an eighth of an inch from the edge and what will happen is all those shorties will disappear and then you'll have this long luscious fur. Isn't it easy? So when I'm using an X-Acto knife, I'm only scoring the fabric backing. You don't even have to press it very hard. And for those of you who are really, really new, go ahead and draw the little square on the back of these. If you're making a ton of them, draw a two inch square by two inch square all across your entire piece of faux fur and cut them all out at once. Look at that, luscious. Okay, so as you can imagine, now we get to glue it on. You can decide whether you want it on the seam side or the free side. I'm going to cover my seam with it. You're going to glue it directly to the cup about a half an inch down from the top edge. And the reason we're doing that is because our poor little hat needs somewhere to go. We're going to glue down the sides and the bottom because people tend to tug on the gnome beard. I think it's just inevitable. They like it. And of course they like to boop the nose. So this is what it looks like when you have your little square beard on. If you are new to making anything with faux fur, you can easily part it using the blunt end of scissors or your fingernail just so you can see that fabric backing. That is what we're gonna glue our gnome nose to. Our gnome nose can be anything. A bead, a ball, a pom-pom, a ping-pong ball, which would be a little ridiculous in this particular case, but I'm not going to tell you how to make your gnomes. 
So now we're going to move on the hat, which is designed to sit over the top of the nose like so. So just position it that way, and all you're going to do is overlap the back and just glue that in place before you take it off. Well, once you have that in place, you're just going to hold it there just for a second or two or five so that it can dry because we don't want that shifting when we glue up the rest of this. Oh, and by the way, I was also asked if you could sew this up using a blanket stitch. Absolutely you can. You have much more patience than I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the very top. And so now we just get to press it here at the edge. I will say I accidentally got distracted because I was watching TikToks and I have a crease in the back of my hat. If that happens to you and you don't want to do it over because whoever likes repeating their work, you can just um, make a trim, use some chunky yarn and make a trim around the brim, make a trim up the back, make it a candy cane, doesn't matter. Now, you can use um, this little guy right here as a snack cup or a treat jar. Ready? See? Oh, put in here. I've used lollipops, anything you want. Pixie sticks are a little too long but you can just pull this down and friction fit and it will totally stay. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to add a little bit of polyfill. You can use the inside of a pillow. You can use Dollar Tree paper bag or plastic bags. Somebody also told me that's what she used for hers. So I'm just telling you, you've got some options. I'm gently pressing it into the very, very tip of the hat and then we're going to plop it on. That's it. Look at this. We're almost done. Isn't it easy? Friction fit that down. And because I put this in uh, or stuffed this with polyfill, I am going to end up gluing this down. Once I have it in place and literally random lint removed from it, I'm going to just add glue all the way around this back bottom edge, all the way from one side to another, and make sure it's solid. For decorations, oh, I hit up the Dollar Tree, you can be sure. I got these little snowflakes and used some leftover green embroidery thread. You can get these skeins for literally nothing friendship bracelet thread. That's how I learned them. Anyway, I'm just going to create a little hang on tassel. The best part of these is that they can be stacked or they can even be dismantled if you don't glue the hat on so you can easily store them away. So I'm just popping on a little bit of hot glue, then pressing in my embroidery thread. And once it is dry, I'm just going to hang it over the top edge. And he's done. <laughs> what do you think of this easy ridiculously quick gnome to put together. You can get the link to the pattern, which is a free cup gnome pattern below. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. Please like this video, share it, and subscribe for more crafty fun.